How's the luck of Grace? Yeah. Alright, today we're going to do a quick little video on the 83 5-liter five 5-speed five convertible Mustang I just bought. Uh, I've actually had this for a couple weeks. Drove it to work for the first time successfully once this week, but it definitely has some issues. Before I could drive it, I had fixed one rear brake line, was blown. Uh, I actually swapped wheels and tires on it to some that are a little less bad that were on it, but still not great. Uh, today, what I'm going to do, hopefully, is go through, clean up the interior. I haven't really done anything with the interior yet. It's got some little bit of mildew here and there. Definitely smells stinky, right, Sadie? This is Sadie. She's going to help me today. And what else? Oh, cap and rotor is first thing on the list. I don't know if you can see the cap there. It's pretty bad. Rotor wasn't terrible. I'm going to throw that on. It's got a fuel pickup problem. It's probably the main drivability. It's filling the bowls, but not keeping up. So I put a new filter inside the carburetor last night. Haven't driven it yet since then. If that doesn't fix it, I'm going to have to drop the tank. I did look under the rear end here. I was thinking there was another fuel filter like most of the other Mustangs I've had, but there's not one here in front of the rear axle on the right side. So if it's not fixed up there, it's either pickup inside the tank or maybe a weak fuel pump too. What, let's see, what else about this car? Body is pretty good. Paint is pretty nice. It's not the original paint, unfortunately. It's a little bit oxidized, but I think with some clay bar and some wax, it'll clean up good. Uh, what else? Mileage. Looks like it's got showing about 118,000. It's definitely not 18,000, but I wouldn't think it's 200 either. It has been repainted, like I said, so there's overspray here and there. So it's a early five liter, five speed, four barrel. 83 is the first year they offered four barrels on these. It's not a GT as far as I can tell. 83 convertible GTs are super rare, although it does have a GT there on the dash. But I don't think it's a GT. Um, what else? You smell something down there, Sadie? Let's see, I'm gonna click off here, change that cap and rotor, and then maybe we'll go for a drive. All right, got the new cap thrown on and new rotor in there. While I was up here, I noticed some other kind of bad stuff. This coil wire does not look good. And whatever this connector here is broken and disconnected. I'm wondering if that screws control. I was playing around with the cruise on the way in it, on the way home the other night and it wasn't working right. Might have to look at that. You can see I also did a quick bypass of the thermostat, or the, not the thermostat, but the heater core. I swapped, swapped those out before, I can do it, but just didn't have time to get that done this week. So we'll be going after that at some point. That'll be a, probably a whole video in itself. So let's fire it up and see if that new cap fixed a little bit of a mess it had. Okay, here we go. Couple pumps. Hmm. Choke doesn't seem to be working quite right. Maybe that wiring is a choke. Well, pressure's coming up. All the other gauges seem to work. What do you think, Sadie? You want to go for a ride? Go for a ride? Quick walk around here. Exhaust sounds pretty good, although the muffler is rusted out in the bottom. Maybe that's why it sounds good. Like I said, the paint's not bad. It's got a few chips. I think if I get after it, take some time, polish it up, it'll look good. The motor sounds awesome. It sounds healthy. There is a little bit of an exhaust leak somewhere over on this side. I'll have to deal with that sometime. One nagging issue is this door. I don't think it's the body. I think it's actually the latch is messed up. You give it a little bit of lish. No, that won't go. Huh. There we go. 
I think the latch is messed up. Unfortunately, it has these weird little side skirts on it that are definitely not stock and they're screwed into the body, which stinks, but we'll deal with that. So the story on the car is it was sitting for probably four or five years. Before that, I couldn't quite get out of the previous owner how long he had it, somewhere between 15 and 25 years, a long time. So he, I think he took pretty good care of it over the last few years. It definitely sat. Uh, the interior really smells funky, right Sadie? Okay, let's go for a ride. Well, before we go for a drive, let's do a little digging in the car and see what we can find on the previous owner. Check the glove box. Oh, not much in there. It's in the Zippo. Nothing. A couple screws. So I've got a few fuses. Oh, that's the door lock off the other side. It's broken. Not much there. There is some paperwork right here in the middle. Let's look at that quick. Doesn't tell me much. Sticky old cards. There's an insurance card from 07. Miscellaneous screws. There's a receipt from 2001. Some sort of Spring Green Wisconsin flyer. So not much, too much there. Let's pop the trunk and see what's in the trunk. Office, but... Trunk is about the same condition as everything else. A little mildewy. This must be the the boot to cover this top. Not much in here. See, the body is pretty solid. It does have some not stock wiring laying around here. I don't know what is up with that. Maybe stereo. All right, well, that wasn't super interesting, but let's take a look at everything else. Here we go. We got some CDs out from under the seat. A little Charlie Pride, Best of Hank Williams, and Willie Nelson, Good Hearted Woman. So I guess we know what he liked for music. Anything else under there? Probably just dead mice. What's this? No, just a little, just a little ruler. And that's about it. Let's take a look under here while the oil's draining. Not terrible, not great. That sway bar bushing's junk. Not, not as rusty as some I've seen out of Wisconsin, but it's not perfect, but it's not bad. A lot of surface rust. It was sitting in a barn with carpet on the floor, on dirt floor, so that does not help the surface rust. But yeah, I think we can work with this. There's the second drain plug. I don't know if anybody's never hasn't worked on a Fox body before. They've got drain plug in the back and another one on the front hump. Huh, not too not too bad. You don't see any rust up here on the shock towers and the frame rail, so that's the good thing. Ooh, that vacuum line's melting on the exhaust manifold up there. Should move that. Gonna need new struts. Sure. Okay. All right, got the oil changed. Got one more thing to do before I move on to something else today. I really can't stand this... Uh, stick on Mustang thing here. So let's see if it'll just peel off. It should just be a window cling. Uh oh, it's around the rear view mirror. Let's go to the other side, pull it the other way. Mm, come on, there it comes. That's better, right Sadie? Oh yeah. Morning everybody, it's Sunday morning. Uh, I'm out here working on this misfire. Thought I'd put a new set of plugs in it. If that doesn't work, we'll put wires on it. Just got all the plugs in. Here's what I took out. They don't look great, but they don't look perfect either. Uh, 
So I'm gonna replace those, or I got those replaced. Need to finish hooking up the plug wires. Next thing I'm gonna do is try to deal with that broken, where's that broken coil wire right there. And then I think I just found our exhaust leak spot right there. It's supposed to be connected to that hose, but it's not. So I'm gonna, on the back side here, there's some bolts and take this hard line all the way off and then screw some bolts back in there and plug those holes. So I guess that's what I'll be doing next. So this quick little project of plugging off the EGR has been at it for an hour or so now. You can see that it's completely plugged. I got one side plug in, but the other side is really jammed up. If you can see down there, that bolt sticking out there is the bolt I got rammed in the hole. But I've been working my way up with screws and taps up through the different tap sizes. I think I've got it just about ready to go. I just grabbed another bolt here, kind of made it a little bit of a taper. See if I can get it to grab a couple threads and get started in there. No, I hate How's it going, Grace? We put Grace in charge of vacuuming, doing the initial clean on the interior. So it's actually not too bad, but it's just a little bit stinky. So we'll get all the stuff vacuumed up and then we'll uh, do some shampoo on the carpets. Looks like next up's the fuel system. Uh, I did go for a test drive earlier and the mist seems to be gone with the new plugs, but the fuel starvation problem is definitely still there. So. These other cars I've worked on in the past, the fuel tanks all look crappy, so I thought I'd start there. So I opened up the fuel tank, dropped the fuel tank, opened it up, and if I get the camera to focus in there, this one actually looks almost perfect, beautiful. Don't see any rust, nothing on that tube. So, must be the fuel pump or the carburetor. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is, fuel pumps are cheap, grab one of those, throw it on and see if that fixes it. And if not, we'll be tearing into the carburetor, I guess. I'm gonna put this tank back up in there. Not even gonna open it up. If I open it up, open it up right now, that whole thing right there would all be destroyed. So I don't think I need to do that. Pickup looks good. Inside the tank's not rusty. So put the tank back in. Good morning, everybody. It's a Sunday morning again, out here working on the car. I just got done putting on the cheapest tires I could find anywhere. Hopefully they're good, haven't driven it yet. They're about $68 a piece, I think, from Walmart. I got those on there. I just went over the, the molding and kind of scrubbed some of the scum off of it. Still haven't done a full cleanup on the car, but I think the next step here, since it's raining outside, I can't do a test drive on checking out the carburetor and fuel system. I think I'm gonna play with paint a little bit. I've got a clay bar kit. I'm gonna go over the little section of the hood, see what it looks like, and then maybe put some wax on it. All right, I'll show you what it looks like in a bit. Quick update on the wax and buffing. Uh, clay bar the hood, put a coat of wax on it. You can see a difference here between the fender and the, and the hood. But honestly, the hood still doesn't look great. You can see that in the reflection there that there's a lot of crap going on. So I think what I'm gonna do is get some polish out in the buffer and work at it a little bit harder. It does look nice and shiny from a distance though. All right, I think this is about as far as I'm gonna be able to get it, at least with the methods I'm using right now. You can see the hood, pretty shiny, pretty bright red. Fender's pretty dull and splotchy. You can see we had a little bit of wax over or cleaner over on the other side, but I think I'm just gonna keep going with the rest of the car this way. There's definitely, you can see it there in the lights of the reflection. Uh, definitely needs a little bit more work, but good enough for this car. There it is. Fresh wax, fresh tires. Uh, we're, Sadie and I are gonna go take it for a little test drive and see if our fuel pickup problem's fixed. I did put a new fuel pump in it. So go to the gas station, put some gas in it. It's only got a couple gallons in it right now. And go run it through the gears and see what happens. All right, Grace and I are out for our first real test drive. It's 
going pretty well. Temperature is a little bit high, the no pressure might be a little bit low. I'm not sure the front brakes are totally working, but we've got some brakes. Car runs pretty good, and uh, we're gonna make it home. That's the best part. Grace may or may not have a chance to little drive it over one of the side roads, which is pretty cool. So, good job, Grace, and see you next time.